Hey, crafty cuties. Welcome back to Paper Terrace. I'm at Joann's and I'm picking out um, some new fabric. So I thought I would show you some of the fabrics I like and then we'll see if there's anything else cute here for journaling. I really always like the flannel that they have and it's usually 50% off. But like this one right here is so cute with the flowers. Um, that one. I'm just kind of looking right now. I have a couple in my hand. You can see some mushrooms here and some florals. Um, also, there's another type of fabric that I look at a lot. Uh, it's over there. So we'll look in a sec, but I'm just trying to see if there's anything. I think I actually really like this one that we just looked at. It kind of reminds me of like a botanical type of book. And so this is $9.99 per yard but it's 50% off. So like I said, these are on sale quite a bit. I'm gonna grab that one. I have quite a few here, okay. So yes, we have the Snuggle, the Super Snuggle Flannel Prints, like I said. It's a really soft texture, but it's also pretty thin and you end up with like a really kind of plush, really good feeling journal. <laughs> You guys know you're, it's all about the feel in our hands, right? Right? Okay, then we come over here, and the other ones that I like are just their cotton fabrics. I did not see any prints that I like today, however, I am seeing mushrooms right here. You see that one? But a little too bright for me. Normally, I find quite a few in this area though. Um, I did almost get this floral one right here. It's really cute. But there's a good selection. I'm gonna go take these up to the counter though and we'll see if there's any new items in the scrapbooking or the paper crafting section. So I am at the Joann's that is just a regular Joann's. Normally I take you guys to the Superstore, which is much better. This is the regular, the regular one. So you can see there's not a ton. This is a great place to look um, for different fabrics that are a good sale. And I always find good prints. So look in your remnants. And then you guys are walking with me back here where all of like the pillow and stuffing is. This is where I get my batting. And I've had a lot of people ask. I mean, I think it's just a normal, place to get it but I'll show you I usually just find the least expensive one now I have got it on Amazon before but I normally get it here with a coupon I'm trying to see I feel like I don't see the exact one that I've got it is kind of expensive but it does last me a while probably this one this is the one that I'm gonna get this time so I'll let you know I haven't tried this one before but I, I think just any of them are fine what? I dropped that. Okay, so they do have some of the embellishments, but this is usually what I get is the little metal pieces here, and I need some more of those, but I also always seem to find the layers, and I need a new pack of these, so we're going to grab one. And I did actually just get word that this location is going to be expanding soon, so I'm excited because this is my local location and I'm excited to see if it will be a superstore or if there will just be, you know, more things available. We're going to go ahead and do a haul since the shopping part was pretty slow. Okay, I kind of showed you what I was getting, but let's just hang out a little bit longer. So I did get this fabric. I got a half yard. And if you are curious, maybe you make journals and you're wondering how much does a half yard, um, like how many journals can you make from it? I would say for the size that I typically make, which are around five and a half by eight inches or so, I can usually make um, anywhere from six to eight journals, I would say. No, wait, sorry. Wait, one, two, three, four. I lied. Four to five, four to five just depending. But anyways, this is a really cute fabric. It's super soft and lightweight, which is perfect. 
and I love the mushrooms on this one. So many people love mushrooms, so I can't wait to use that one. Okay, this one is also just like a classic floral. It kind of looks like a vintage wallpaper. I got a half yard as well. So, you know, four-ish to five journals with this one. This one's really cute. Love the wildflowers a lot. I kind of wish I got more of this one, but this one, I think was a little bit more expensive. I did get a full yard of this one and it reminds me of like a botanical book, book page, I guess. I got a yard of this one. So this is also super soft and yeah, this one's gonna be really fun to work with because I feel like I can just fill this with lots of Tim Holtz papers and you know, botanical botanical book pages. Then of course I got some muslin. This is what I line all of my journal covers in. I got five yards of it. Um, yeah, if you're curious, let me just show you. I'm working on some journals right now and the covers always are lined in. I try to do batting first and then muslin. So you could see on that first one, let me show you how it's see-through, okay? Um, so this is just one layer of muslin. So if you are covering your journals in this, you're gonna see through if you're using like a box or um, a used book. But if you're adding another fabric over this, it's totally fine, like you're not gonna see anything. That's another reason why I really like the flannel fabric because let me try to see if I can like show you when you are using this, since it is a little bit thicker than like a cotton, you won't be able to see through any of the prints that are on uh, your box or reused book or cardboard, whatever it is you're using. So I do really love that. Over here, see I have batting on just this side right here. So this is like the cover. Um, and the batting completely covers it up. So that's, hopefully that's helpful to know. This is the batting I got this time and I kind of want to open it up because this one's different than what I've got before. And I have a feeling this one seems a little thicker, which won't be a bad thing because any kind of plush journal is nice, but I don't want it to be too thick to where it's not flexible enough. So let's see. Yeah, so this one is a little bit thicker than what I'm used to, but it's not too thick. I think this is going to be wonderful. It was like $12.99, but it was 50% off. And then I had a 25% off coupon. So whatever the math is there, I think this one will be good. So if you wanted to see this, it's by the brand Pelon, Pelon, Pelon. And crib size. Yeah. Then I got a package of the Tim Holtz Botanical Layers. I buy this, I re, I rebuy this very often. And then just got some thread for my sewing machine. So that's everything that I got. Um, it was fun to shop with you guys. I haven't done a lot of shopping lately. So um, let me know what you guys think. Like I said earlier in the video, that Joann's is expanding right now, and I'm so hoping that it's going to be a Joann's Superstore because that means they will have a way bigger crafting or like uh, paper crafting section. And right now, the only location that is near me that is a Superstore is a little far, and so I'm excited for that. Let me know, do you guys live by a Joann's Superstore? Kind of curious. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. I'll talk to you later. Bye.